Hi, so my name is Caitlin Sinclair and I would like to introduce you to my inquiry project. Uh, how can teachers create a classroom environment to support the social emotional needs of vulnerable and challenged readers? And so for my project, I was really interested in looking at um, both reluctant readers and uh, students that have developmental dyslexia. And I had a really uh, significant pull towards this project because um, when I was in grade three, I was actually diagnosed with a really mild form of developmental dyslexia and so my entire project was really an opportunity for me to learn more about myself and um, just find out a little bit more about how I learn best and all of the trial and error that I went through to learn about the way that I learn, how I could maybe alleviate some of that process for my students. I initially thought that I could parcel apart the social emotional dimension and the um, academic achievement um, into these two separate parts and that I could combat one and then I'll combat the other and then it'll all be great. Um, and once I started to read through, I really started to understand how integrated and together both the effective quality of learning and uh, sort of the skill building and the success really is. So um, I read through a bunch of different um, different projects and different ways in which teachers were able to bring in literacy successfully into their classrooms and came up with uh, sort of four key uh, strategies and I like to call them my literacy league and um, their relationships, um, making sure you have uh, as a teacher you have inclusive practices in your classroom so making sure that you're teaching to all different needs, um, encouraging lots of skill building and lots of time to practice reading and writing in your classroom and making sure that you uh, builds in self-assessment, so an opportunity for students to see where they are at, where they have come, and where they are going. Um, for myself, uh, and just learning about um, the way that I learn, I knew that uh, coming up with lists wasn't going to be a way in which I was going to be able to connect and really remember the information, so I ended up um, designing and printing off a uh, small graphic novel or comic, and um, what I did was actually uh, create four different superhero characters. Uh, they're my back pocket, never forget to use, always with me characters in the classroom um, based off of each one of my four strategies that I learned. So I have, let's see, I've got um, Captain Practice, um, Lieutenant Relationships, Colonel Inclusivity, and Sergeant Self-Assessment. And each one of those um, superheroes help to combat against the evil spiral called um, Mr. Learned Helplessness. That character sneaky character who's always in the back of our classrooms waiting to pounce on the hearts and minds of unsuspecting students. So that for me was a really exciting way in which I thought I could share my information but also a way in which I could connect with it. Um, so my literacy league goes on an adventure where um, Caitlin's, who's my, my character based off of myself, where her heart and mind is captured by uh, the evil Mr. Learned Helplessness and they actually come upon, they call upon the use of their four tools. So they each have a, an individual tool that they use to, to fight against learned helplessness. And so for self-assessment, it is a looking glass. So the ability to look inside yourself and, and understand who you are. For relationships, um, she has a rope. So that the idea was that we are all bound together um, by this rope that help, uh, help us to improve our um, social and emotional selves. Uh, inclusivity has an umbrella because when you stand underneath an umbrella, you're protected from adversity. And practice has a timer because if there's one thing that I've learned, it's that all teachers need more time, especially to build skills. So uh, together, my Literacy League uses these four different tools in order to combat um, learned helplessness. And uh, each one of these tools, specifically in the, in the little novel I've got, has a, um, goes into a bit more detail about the particular skills or the particular strategies in which you can use in your classroom to help with that. So for um, inclusivity, for instance, uh, lots of audio visuals and your teaching, making sure that you're giving lessons in small chunks and little parts. So students that have a hard time with sequencing have lots of time to revisit and go back and understand, um, understand what they need to do in the classroom. So together the learned literacy, yeah, just combats that learned helplessness. Um, and saves the day. So that's uh, really what I produce for my inquiry project.